the 10th today um, and it is midnight so technically it's Saturday the 11th I'm not sure what this is going to be yet it's either going to be a weekend vlog or it's going to be an accounting of my bathroom renovations so I guess you're going to find out and so am I when I decide to edit this I had a day off and uh, I was supposed to do some heavy editing. Instead, I spent the day stripping the walls of my bathroom. Yay! I started around 1 in the afternoon and I only sat down at 8 in the evening. So, I'm exhausted. But yeah, I felt like giving you an update, so there you go. Anyhow, I had a funny adventure two days ago. I finished work at 12 and I had to go buy myself a new pair of jeans for work because mine were ripped to shreds. And on my way back, I was walking past Waterstones and you know, who can walk past Waterstones without actually going in? So I went in with one goal in mind. I went in to buy uh, that beautiful edition of Arabian Nights from Barnes & Noble's Leatherbound Collector collection and I get there they sold the last three copies to this one man a few days back and uh, that particular edition had been discontinued and that they were coming up with a new edition she showed me the picture and I, I just don't like it. Like the, the old edition is so much more beautiful. So I was on the verge of tears because I'm a little crybaby when it comes to pretty books that I can't own. And upon seeing my distress, this lovely lady decided to try something a bit unconventional. So she called this other Waterstones and asked her if they still had any copies of this particular edition of Arabian Nights. Now, you ask, why didn't I just buy this edition online or, or something? Because you can't. It won't let you buy online. It has to go, you have to go buy it physically in store only. You can't even order it in. So, her go my distress. Now, because of COVID-19, they're not doing any stock exchange between Waterstones either. So, again, my distress. Lo and behold, there, we, there is one last copy of the book in question. So, I give my credit card details over the phone to, and she puts them up. I pay for the book and she shipped the book over to my house. Now I thought it was going to take at least a week to get here, it got here in less than 48 hours and I'm about to open it with you. Here's the book.
but the reason for that is because I have been gawking at this book for well five years now the time I couldn't afford the book at all then I couldn't justify spending 30 pounds on it and then time just went by and I kept finding excuses not to buy it and now now that I wanted to buy it I couldn't find it anywhere and um and quarantine came and I couldn't even buy it and you know it's here and it's mine and I own it and honestly I probably could have gotten a way better deal on book depository or wherever than 30 pounds but I do not give two fine fucks this book is like This book is like everything right now. And uh, you say like, you talk about, oh, who was it the other day? Um, my owner. My owner was talking about, um, you know, treating yourself and, you know, when you, 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 you gotta treat yourself sometimes. And this has been, I, I don't have the words. I do not have the words. I just, this is like one of the, if not the most beautiful book I own. And uh, yeah. Right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop that before you guys think that I make love to my books, which I do a little bit, not weird at all, shut up. like Sunday and it's like midnight and I've done zero updating on this vlog but what happened on the last two days uh so Saturday I was actually working for most of the day and then I got home and I don't know how like I sat down for two seconds and swear to god I fell asleep and woke up super late and I got fuck all done um and then today like we had a lion, but it was like a normal lion, like we, we woke up around like 11ish. She got up and then I had to go to Sainsbury's, uh, so I did that. And then as soon as I got home, like we had this fun evening of games planned with uh, um, my boyfriend's brothers and their girlfriends, so that happened. And it was fun, we were playing, and the left hour was around like 6, and... Um, and again, I don't know really what happened, but I sat down and fell asleep and woke up now. So, oops. Um, so yeah, so I got nothing done either. I was supposed to post a video yesterday. That didn't happen. I then decided, oh, let's post it today because I've got time to finish editing. That didn't happen. So I'm going to try and post it tomorrow. <laughs> It's gonna happen, I'm confident. Like at some point the video is gonna go up. I'm just not entirely sure when, how, or which one. But we're gonna find out. I did do some reading yesterday night when I woke up because I couldn't go back to sleep again afterwards. So I think I'm up to page 300 and something now. I'm glad that I got over my little um, teeny tiny reading slump, which wasn't really a slump, it's just that I, was, I started working and I was way too tired to focus on a book without falling asleep but I'm glad that's over now so yay so yeah we're gonna try and salvage this sh shit especially because if we don't then I don't really have a video to put up in a few days so yes not much more to say to be honest so I'm just gonna go now so hello today it's Tuesday and this is the weirdest vlog you'll ever see because yeah we're all over the place i've actually just finished blood promise finally so on one hand um my suspicions were half right half wrong 
I read them in Portuguese a long, 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 long gas time ago. And I'm rereading them, but in English. And that the Portuguese uh, translations of these books, as far as I know, never actually came to a conclusion. Like, they never translated every single book. And if they did, I certainly do not remember reading them. So, I was rereading this collection. And originally, I thought that um, I had only read the first possibly second, maybe, just maybe, third book. And then, you know, the more I read, uh, the more I started wa wondering if the series was too predictable or if it was simply that I had read it such a t long time ago that I was just remembering stuff as I read it. And I was not enjoying the fact that I kept spoiling myself a few pages ahead. So, yes. But, finished Blood Promise, and this was a really weird book, because the first half of it, I get a feel, I have, like, this really strong feeling of deja vu, like, I've already read it, so technically it's deja vu read. Way. But, um, so I thought maybe I already have read this book, and slowly losing uh, faith in my memory skills, and then halfway through the book, I could not remember a single scene. So, definitely hadn't read it. So, that begs the question, either the beginning of the book is incredibly predictable, or there's, or I've already read this book but I don't remember the ending, or there is some creepy ass voodoo shit going on here. Either way, I finished it, and I liked it a lot. The ending was so predictable, like, what happens with Dimitri? I could see that coming miles off, like eons away. It's not meant to be something like super intricate and super well, well written and all that. It's probably for girls the age of my sister who was like, I think 14 or 15. How old is she? 15. She's gonna be 15. So like, you know, it's not meant to be some super intricate fantasy book. So for what it is, I actually really enjoyed it. It is a little bit repetitive. It does move a little bit slow at times. But at the same time, I do enjoy the easy reading that it is. And I do enjoy that, you know, it doesn't take all of my brain power. And it's really quick to read, <laughs> she says, after taking like almost a month to read it. But shush. Hi, everybody. Today is a day. Wednesday. You're gonna see how this picture is just gonna come across because I'm using my front camera and my iPhone. Anyhow, um, it's like 10 in the evening or something and I cannot be asked to look nice, so let's make this brief. I didn't do any reading yesterday. I might start it later tonight or I might start it tomorrow. I'm not sure yet, but I'll find out. Moving on. We have a slightly different background because I'm not in my actual room. I'm in my dining room today. Um, and that's because I'm starting a new puzzle. Exciting. I'm a bit of a puzzle nutter. It's hard for me to find out a puzzle that's like complicated enough that I get hooked on it. I find them very soothing. Just pop on some music, go grab some snacks, and in this case, junk food because why not? And yeah. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I have no idea how I'm going to be doing this, how long I'm going to be doing this for, which is why I have no idea if I'm going to actually be doing any reading today, but we'll find out. I've also been like really, really bad at editing and posting stuff. Like I was meant to post a video, like I think five days ago, that didn't happen. I still haven't edited it at all. I don't have, like all of those wonderful videos that I had caught up uh, with editing and they were ready to go, they've already all come out. So I'm back in uh, in being delayed with my videos. So great start, Elena, uh, as a YouTuber. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to say I'm sure there's something that's going to get better with time because I know for a fact it isn't, but we'll see. Anyhow, I'm going to shut up and get cracking with this puzzle. Otherwise, I'll be here until, well, I'll be here until high hours in the evening anyway, but, you know.
So that's the puzzle that I'm going to be making. This is a thousand piece jigsaw. It's very one toned almost. So this is going to be fun. I've got my snacks ready. I've got my music ready. I'm in my wonderful dining room. So let's get started. to the madness so there's my four corners there and then uh, I know for a fact that that one and that one are in <laughs> are in the right place and then within this little circle here that's where all of my border pieces are and then all of that sea with madness that is the rest of the pieces I need to go in the middle. I do not by a million years actually expect to finish this today, but I do want to finish the frame today and then I'll see I'll see how long that takes me. But yeah, so off we go. <laughs> midnight now so I'm not gonna do any more of the puzzle tonight because too much blue I can't I can't with it my eyes are hurting now so I think I'm gonna grab myself a midnight sack and maybe start the new book or I might go cuddle up with him and watch some videos on YouTube or wherever I don't know yet I'm gonna find out Anyways, that's me for tonight, and I will see you all tomorrow for the final day of this week. Bye! Yo, hello! It's Thursday, but technically it's Friday because it's like 2 in the morning, but whatever. So, we're back 
in my dining room, in fact we never left, uh, but I made some progress, some slow progress, but I got somewhere. This puzzle was a lot harder than I expected, although I could have probably seen it coming because it's one coloured. However, uh, I'm not begging them, I like my challenge, so yeah, that's what's happening. I had the company of Disney Plus. I watched, um, or rather, re watched. My cat's going slightly insane, sorry. Been here for a while. Got home at like half five, six ish, and then I've been here since. So it's three in the morning. Do your math. It's been a while. First, I re watched Princess and the Frog. And I love it. This music and the style. Mm. Yes. And then I rewatched um, The Aristocats, which I hadn't watched since I was a kid. And there were some scenes where I was like, I definitely did not clock into that one when I was a kid. So, huh? And I just finished watching The Rescuers. And I realised, one, I could not remember anything from the movie at all, so it was like watching it for the first time. Because uh, I grew up with the second movie instead of the first one. <laughs> like, I didn't even know the first one existed until about a handful of years ago, where I was like, oh, oops. Anyhow, it's still in the morning, I'm tired, I'm gonna go to bed, I gotta work tomorrow again. <laughs> And I should really be going to bed a lot earlier because I'm exhausted. Also, I'm in a very grumpy mood today, so up and down, up and down, and round and round goes the merry. That's not even a sentence. What the hell? All right, I need sleep. So I'm going to show you really quickly the state of uh, what it is. It probably doesn't look like much, but Fucking hell this movie. This puzzle is fucking hard. So yes. I'm not gonna read. Oh yeah, so I did I did start um my book yesterday. Um and um I'll show you in a minute. You'll see in a minute. So puzzle first. So here's the current situation. So there is a puzzle. Now, I know it doesn't look like much, but every single piece that you can see, like, spread about, like, all of those and etc. They are all pieces that I've identified by comparing it to the actual picture of the puzzle. They're all pieces I've identified and put roughly in their place. So they might not be attached to anything, but I know for a fact that they're going to go within that area. And then, then pieces below there that just bits that I know they're from like the trunks and the tree trunk the twigs and all that but I don't really know where they go and then all of this mess is just a sea of blue and uh, yeah it is madness so that's the situation also my cat <laughs> has been keeping me company all evening Sometimes sleeping right about over there or uh, just constantly meowing to try and get my attention. So usually by this point we're like cuddled up in uh, my bean bag with the coverlet on top of my legs and she's usually just snoring her little life away. And uh, yeah, today that didn't happen so... Instead, she came to keep me company and then got a bit fed up, so decided to be a pain in the ass. And now she's hiding. She loves to hide under furniture. I think it's because we can't, like, annoy her, so she's like, yep, I'm just gonna hide here. Oi! You little spaz. Patiently waiting. Sorry, no reading today because I'm going to go to bed. But before that, I'm going to close off this vlog because 
<sighs> I know for a fact I'm not doing it tomorrow. And I should have done it today. So, anyhow, so I started Spirit Bound finally, which is the second to last book of the Vampire Academy collection, the main series, not the um, spin off. And uh, I'm I'm in page 46, so I don't really have that much to say about it, just because I haven't really read much of it, so yes. I spoke about my opinions on uh, book numero cuatro uh, yesterday, I think it was, so yeah, I don't really have that much to add. I started the book, I want to finish it. A lot quicker than I finished last one. I'm not going to try and finish it like for this week coming just because I'm going to be working a lot of hours hopefully so I'll either be too tired to read it or I won't have the time uh, but I do want to see if I can finish it at least this month. I'd like to think I might be able to finish it within like a week and a half maybe if I keep a steady pace so we'll see we'll see what happens but yeah Almost done with the school collection. I would definitely like to finish all of the Vampire Academy books this month. Just because I'm loving it. But I want to read something else now. But I'm stubborn. I started the collection. I want to finish it. Especially because I own all of it. So I really have no excuse here. With that, I'm going to leave you all for this vlog. I have no idea what this is going to look like, post-edition. I, I can't even remember the footage I have for this thing, so this is going to be a weird one. You're going to have to bear with me for this one. Anyhow. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. I will see you guys next time.